everyone, it's Julie. I know it's been a while since I made a video, so bear with me. Um, I haven't made one in a while, so. But today I want to do a video that I saw um, a recipe on Pinterest and I really wanted to try it. It's um, for lady locks, and I don't know if anybody's ever made homemade lady locks, but I think they're pretty time consuming. So I saw this recipe, and it's kind of a shortcut. Um, we're calling them lazy locks because it's kind of for people that don't really like to bake a lot or at least do things from scratch. So I saw the recipe and it calls for puff pastry as your cookie dough. And um, what you do is you just get this pre-made dough and let it thaw out and then cut it into strips. And according to that recipe, you should get 32 cookies from one pack of the puff pastry. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, I don't have the regular, of course I don't even know what they're called, the regular, um... Dowels? Yeah, I don't know what they're called. That you can buy them to um, wrap your dough around. But a lot of people just use wooden clothespins. Now I got these at Michael's, they're more for crafts. But I think they'll work just fine. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, here's the clothespin. And I'm just wrapping them with aluminum foil just to keep them clean so the dough doesn't get on the clothespin and then we can reuse them uh, when we're done. So that's what I'm doing. I just um, cut some strips of aluminum foil and then Pinch just the rolling them up. Yeah, they don't have to be perfect. This is the puff pastry that I'm using, but you can use whatever brand you can find. Um, since it's close to Christmas, we was having a little trouble finding it, but we, we were able to, to find some eventually. But this is the brand, so I'm going to show you how to um, roll it out and cut it into the strips. Okay, we're supposed to get 16 pieces of dough out of each. There's two of these puff pastries in a pack, so you're, you're going to get... 16 pieces out of each piece of dough. So we're just doing half and then keep doing half, half, half until we get our 16 slices. And we found this is the easiest way to do it. So go over, cut half, and then cut half of that, half of that, and then keep doing that until you, or you can just use a roller. It's up to you, whatever's the easiest for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut them with a pizza cutter and hopefully I can get these pretty decently straight. <laughs> gonna try anyways. And just try to line up with your mark. I'm not very good at this. I've never made these before, so this is a new recipe. I wanted to try it. I love Lady Locks, but I'm kind of one of those lazy cooks. That's why I'm calling them lazy locks. This is right up my alley. <laughs> so I wanted to try them before Christmas and see how they turn out. And if they're really good, I'll make a bunch for Christmas. Because everybody seems to love lady locks. And they're pretty expensive if you go buy them. So hopefully they will taste good. Okay, according to the package directions, it says that the dough will get kind of sticky once it comes to room temperature, so you gotta kind of work fast with it. I put the other one in the refrigerator just to keep it cold while I'm doing this. Now, I've never done this before, like I said, so this is all tri trial and error for me. So, I guess just start wrapping around the clothespin. And just kind of go in a spiral and like I said, I've never done this, so I'm just, don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying. I, I probably could have just went in the middle with it, but. And you probably can make bigger ones if you want. I don't think you can, you have to make these small ones. You can probably do um, wider strips if you want, if you don't want as many cookies. Yeah, I'm not very good at this, so this is all new to me. I'm just kind of going at a 
little bit of an angle with them. I rolled this, I, I put this out on wax paper so it didn't stick to any surface, so the wax paper kind of is easy to remove it. Just make sure your dough is overlapped. I don't think you want to leave any gaps. And I'm just kind of putting the, um, the end down to help hold it together while it bakes. So I'm just going to get these finished and then I'll show you before I put them in the oven what they all look like. stick now on the recipe they were saying that you can um, roll these in some granulated sugar which I'm not going to do because by the time I put the filling in them and then sprinkle them with powdered sugar when they're done, I think that's going to be plenty sweet enough. So, all right. They're good enough. This is just practice once anyway. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get these put in the oven. Um, 400 degrees for about 15 minutes, but keep an eye on them because everybody's oven is different. Yeah, definitely keep an eye on them. Uh, I'm going to check mine after about 10 minutes just to see. Um, it says or until they're golden brown. So, well, I set my timer for 10 minutes. Okay, this is after uh, um, 18 minutes at 400 degrees in my oven, but like I said, everybody's is different, so keep an eye on them. Couple, a couple of the ends um, kind of didn't stick real good, but that's okay. These are still super hot, but Julie needs the... We need the molds to finish up the last of the it other seems, pack. Seems like they're pulling out pretty easy, the clothespins. Yeah. Well, apparently Puff Pastry has a ton of butter in it, so I didn't have to spray the foil or anything. So the butter keeps them from sticking. It's nice if they're sticking out just oh, a little yeah. bit. They're, they're coming off real nice. We were wor kind of worried about it, but... Seems like they're coming off real easy. Thanks. All right, so we have figured out that it's easier to pull these uh, clothespins out while they're still hot. Yeah. They're easier to come yeah, out. Yeah, we forgot one and it was uh, after it cooled off and it was a little bit harder. <clears throat> so they do, they are very hot, but. Yeah, just be careful. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. Ooh, that one's stuck. Uh oh. Oh, there it okay, I'm getting ready to make the filling for our lady locks, and what it calls for is um, three quarter cups of marshmallow cream, one cup of Crisco, one cup of butter, four cups of powdered sugar, and four teaspoons of vanilla. So the first thing I'm going to do is get one cup of butter in the mixer. So I have one cup of butter in the mixer. Now I'm getting one cup of Crisco. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. So get that in the mixer. All right, and we're gonna beat this until it's all creamed together, nice and creamy. Stop and 
and clean the mixer, the beater um, paddle. All right, I'm gonna stop it and because it's all stuck on this, so get it down. Clean the side of the bowl. Make sure it's all incorporated good. Let it go just a little bit longer. While that's gone, I need to start measuring out my marshmallow cream. I need three quarters of a cup. So I'm going to do a half a cup and a quarter cup. incorporated me so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the marshmallow cream sugar so I'm just going to do one cup at a time and add it slowly because you don't want it to go everywhere yeah we're just going to add the sugar a little bit at a time because like I said I don't want to make a mess with it it'll go everywhere Oh, hopefully I can get this out. 
out of here. All right. Cup number four. I'm just doing half of it at a time until it gets incorporated and then I'll put the other half in. Oh, it's looking good. Mm, can't wait to taste it. All right, here's the other half. All right. Now once that gets incorporated, and then all I have to add in there is um, the vanilla. Now I need four teaspoons of that. One, there's two, there's three, All right. and there's four. Alright, let's turn it up and get it going here. Now the vanilla turned the frosting, it, it gave it a little bit of a tint. You can buy clear vanilla if you prefer. I just had the regular, so that's what I'm using. Scrape it down. pastry bags but since we're just here temporarily I don't know where they're at I haven't unpacked them um, so I'm just going to use as like a ziploc bag and uh, cut the end off of it so get your filling in there it's nice if you can have somebody help you with this or put the bag down in a, a cup or something to help hold it. The spilling is delicious. Of course, I had to try it and <laughs> make sure. It's really good. I'm not sure how big of a hole to put in the bag. I don't want to make it too big, but, um, so I'm just going to start with a small, small one here. And, uh, see how it goes. You might have to do like both ends, um, squeeze some down in till it comes out and then go to the other end and squeeze some out. And hopefully it went all the way down in to the middle. Yeah, there we go. Pretty simple process. <laughs> this one's, uh, I don't know what happened to him. He kind of came apart. But I'm sure it tastes just as good as the rest of them. I'm going to take these and give some to my sons and their wives and get everybody's opinion on them and see how they like them. If everybody likes them, then We'll make some for Christmas. They're fairly simple. That's why they're called Lazy Law. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely uh, the lazy way to do it, but hey, as long as they taste good, that's all matters to me. Okay, we got our Lady Locks all finished up. They look really good. The filling is delicious. Um, I'm going to wrap them and set them in the refrigerator just so the filling sets up a little bit it was kind of soft but um, you can definitely eat them right away that's fine but I will leave the recipe for the 
lazy locks um, at the end of the video and if you guys want to give them a try and um, let me know what you think um, just leave it in the comments section and I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching